Hello everyone, my name is Edmond Andrada and I'm a local artist here in the city of Mines, Baguio City. One of the major challenges we experienced last 2020 is the COVID-19 pandemic. And since halos lahat apektado, I want to give tribute to the frontliners who are battling this worldwide crisis. I started this painting noong kalagitnaan ng quarantine sa aming lungsod. I have a lot of medical friends who are in the frontline and nakakwento nila yung araw-araw na pagharap nila sa mga tinamaan ng virus. As part of the local community, all we have to do is to stay home. But creating a painting like this is my way of sharing my support sa lahat ng mga nasa medical field. Kahit nasa bahay lang tayo most of the time because of quarantine protocols, that doesn't stop us to paint and continue our commission works. These four paintings in the studio kept me busy during the first half of the quarantine. Life goes on and we have to keep working kahit nasa gitna tayo ng pandemya. Itong painting na to, I call it melting time, is my idea on how we can be productive even in times of crisis. I believe that time is precious eh. Kailangan natin tong i-maximize especially in our daily activities. Sayang yung chance natin na umunlad at umangat sa buhay if we always take time for granted. Kung lagi nating sinasayang yung oras natin sa unproductive activities like watching too much TV or excessive use of gadgets for personal pleasures, why not use that time to create something, to learn something new, to earn extra income, or create a new business. Kasi in the end, uh, when this precious time passes, you cannot you cannot bring it back. Eh. And I hear it a lot sa mga tao na may mga regrets, no? Na sabi na kung maibabalik lang nila yung panahon, they can do it better. Pero syempre, hindi na pwede yun. Isa sa mga problema that I encountered during pandemic is kinulang tayo ng mga art materials. Tulad neto, kinulang tayo ng white paint sa pag-prime ng canvas. And what makes it more difficult is we only have a specific date and time para lumabas sa barangay. Include pa natin yung low supply ng paint materials at closed establishments. Kaya nga when opportunity comes, we went to the art store and buy all the materials we need. Yeah, this is amazing. It's like uh, walking in heaven. <laughs> and you got all the tools after after more than a month of uh, quarantine and staying at home. At least I already have uh, materials that we need. Yeah, check it out. This is my hometown, Baguio City. They implemented the very strict quarantine protocols here in the city. It was the first time that I experienced the feeling of driving in a ghost town. Walang ganong tao sa labas eh. Even cars can drive ng diretso without stopping. I continue to work on my artworks and I was actually very productive since hindi tayo makalabas. You know, making art requires a lot of time and effort and 90% of the creativity process is done indoors, inside the studio. I tried to learn and enhance my other activities like woodworking and framing my artworks in preparation for my art exhibit in Manila. Ang daming requirements when traveling outside the city like health certificate, barangay clearance, and permit to travel. But somehow, I tried to accomplish all that. Hello, what's up mga kasining? Nandito tayo ngayon sa Gallery Ana. So, tignan natin yung mga paintings. For me, what makes an artist's life meaningful is we need to continue our passion and daily art activities no matter what the situation is. Being an artist is a calling from God and I believe that we need to honor this gift na ipinagkalob niya sa atin to give color and happiness to the society.